so okay guys when after effect how to create this type of uh, test with this shape here so all you have to do is just make sure you turn on your proportional grid select your pen tool and just make a shape make some shape here so i'll go for shape like this after that i'll just disable my proportional grid and i'll increase the stroke now all you have to do is just add a warp to it so select warp so i'll go for something like this and let's make some changes so go into the content and make sure you go to your shape you, you don't need the fill so you can delete the fill so go to stroke and make sure you go to taper and for the start length let's increase it so you can see we have this sharp edges here and this is what we want and we're going to do same for the right so i'll go to the end length and i'm going to increase it just like this and now all we can do is add a trim part or for this we can also go to scale so just make a keyframe for the scale and just hit on your keyframe move in time and just set it back to 100 so at the end we have something like this so at the end this is what we have go to your graph and make it this graph like this you can also turn on motion blur you can also use the trim part to uh, do this so all you have to do is just let me turn off the skill and let me show you what you can do again with the trim part so go to your shape make sure you go to content and go to add and select a trim part and with this just go to your trim part and make sure you have start set to 50 and the end and the end to you also go for 50 and just send your player to the beginning and just make a keyframe for the start and end moving time and set the start to 100 and set the end to zero so at the end this is what you have now and so this is the same thing for our skill so just highlight your keyframes and you can make a graph like this you can also turn on motion blur so now all we have to do now is just add our texture to this so bcc race so just go to the presets and go for alt default and make sure you have your your light source in the middle go to our ray length and we're going to bring it down and now go to our scale you can also play with the scale so you can go for something like this and if we play this now what we can do here is just go into your your color presets and you can choose any one of them so i'll go for green and we have the green like this and all we have to do now is just add our test just create animation and with this what we do is just go for the select the two tests hit p for position create animation for the position and opacity hit and hit you to reveal your keyframes so send your keyframe to this side and all we can do now is go to the test i'm going to move it to the top like so and i'm going to send it to i'm going to reduce the opacity to zero and in, in this case it will come like this by the same easing so this is basically how to create this uh, this test animation you saw in the video and with this all you have to do is now you just add your bevel and balls your drop shadow and your deep glow so basically this is how to uh, create this type of test and you can also add texture to your test thanks for watching and i'm going to show you in my next video peace